On news making headlines in the business world, the deal to sell tea directly to Iran has kicked off a storm between the Ministry of Agriculture and the County of Bomet. The County Governor Hilary Bartok has said tea from the county fetched a price of $3 per kilo, which is above the $2.50 currently offered through the Mombasa Tea Auction. Agriculture CS Peter Munya has accused Bartok of lying to tea farmers about a non-existent deal. In July, the county of Bomet announced that it has signed an agreement with the Republic of Iran to sell tea directly to the Middle East nation. For many years, Iran has been a big buyer of Kenyan black tea, but the deal has been jeopardized by financial sanctions imposed unilaterally by the United States. Former U.S. President Donald Trump withdrew the U.S. from a United Nations-backed nuclear deal and went ahead to slap Tehran with trade sanctions. This has complicated Iran's trade and political relations with some countries that fear being sanctioned by Washington. Bomet County Governor Hilary Barchok has said Iranian tea buyers have agreed to buy tea at a price of $3 per kilo. What we are doing is to facilitate, to look for new markets. The traditional markets that we used to rely on, like UK, Egypt, Pakistan and all those, are currently facing challenges. And that is why the market price for our tea auction in Mombasa has been dropping. Barchok father says the county has entered into an agreement with the Iranian traders to sell 40 tons of tea on a weekly basis. First one was of course reception of the tea that we flapped up sometimes back and secondly was also to go and expand the opportunities for our farmers in terms of getting more traders to purchase our tea from Bomet and the rest of Kenya by the way. Bomet County is one of the biggest tea producers in the country, producing 43 million kilos of green tea in 2020. The deal has come under harsh criticism from agriculture CS Peter Munya, who has accused Barchok of hoodwinking tea farmers from the county. Reporting for Lunchtime News, my name is Hibak Said.